Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm gonna be taking out my braids. I'm kind of sad. Having these braids was so awesome. I just woke up and would walk out the house and life was so easy. I got these braids on June 21st. It is now July 21st. I've had them in for exactly one month and I'd probably rock it longer but duty calls and I need my curls back. So since this was my very first time getting braids, this is my first time taking them out. So I watched a couple other YouTube videos. So I'm gonna just kinda take pieces of what I liked from each video and try my own little method today. If you don't agree with the way that I'm taking out my braids, I'm sure you will tell me in the comments because that's what people like to do in the YouTube comments. So today I'll be showing you exactly how I'm taking out my braids. I'm gonna show you how long it takes and you're also gonna see how much hair I lost. I already know it's going to be a lot because naturally our hair sheds every day. We just don't really notice it, but when it's all trapped in a braid, it hasn't been able to fall. So who knows how much hair I'm about to lose right now. So without further ado, let's just begin. All right, now the first thing you're gonna wanna do when taking out your braids is actually to cut them all off. I'm just kidding, don't cut them all off but you are gonna cut off the hair that's not yours. I'm not gonna tell you X amount of inches because it really depends on how long your hair is. If you know your hair is only this long, you can cut all of this off. But if it's longer, you don't wanna accidentally cut off your own hair. I mean, depending on the title of this video, I hope it's not called How I Accidentally Cut Off My Hair, but if it is, hear it for a treat. So to be safe, for at least braid number one, I'm just gonna cut off this last part that I know is not my hair. Here we go. Eek. Braid number one. All right, looks like none of my hair was in there. We're off to a good start. <laughs> so now I'm gonna grab a rat tail comb, which just means a comb with this little pointy part on the end of it. And we're gonna use this to get inside the braid. There's one of my curls. Oh, hello. Hi, curls, I missed you. Kind of, not really. So this is how much extra hair there is. This is where my hair actually ends. And now, once you get to the top, the rest of it's just gonna slide right off. Boop. So there we go. There's my first little piece of hair back. I'm also gonna try a new product today. This is the Shea Moisture Jojoba Oil and Yakuba Butter Braid Up and Take Down Detangler. This is the only Shea Moisture product that I did not review in my last Shea Moisture braid hair product video because I didn't have any hair to take down. So I'm gonna be trying this for the first time. It's supposed to help detangle our hair when taking down our braids. Still smells amazing. Make sure you watch my last video if you haven't. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit on there. And I'm going to rub it on my hair. Already getting it nice and reconditioned. Oh, oh, hello curls. And I'm just going to grab the comb and comb through. You probably will get a little bit of that buildup right around the top where the knot was. So we just want to get rid of that now. So detangling is easier. Whoo! One down, about 50 to go. Now interesting enough, a lot of other YouTube videos that I watched, everybody was taking out their braids while it was dry and didn't really use any product. Maybe it's just the inner curly girl in me, but detangling on dry hair is never a good idea. So I actually just washed my hair. I used my Diva Curl Build Up Buster to get rid of some of the buildup so it wouldn't be too nasty when I'm taking out all this hair. So now my hair is still pretty damp right now, and I'm adding a detangler. So far, so good. And I think this is just what I know works for me and my curls. I am really liking this Shea Moisture Detangler. Rubbing it on the braids. Wow. 
Putting the detangler on does make it a lot easier. I'm whipping through this now. Hello, scalp. Long time no see. One took me three hours. Oh, scalp massage. Ah, <sighs> yes. I'm now gonna get some coconut oil. This is by Vita Coco. I'm doing this before I rinse my hair with a cleanser just to add some more moisture in there before I wash it. Coconut oil is also a great detangler. <laughs> completely detangled all the braids are out now let's wash this hair starting off with my favorite cleanser the diva curl buildup buster this is going to bust all the buildup that's been lurking on my scalp for a month getting rid of everything on my scalp because it just it works so well and to take things to the next level, I'm going to grab my Vanity Planet Shampoo Scalp Massager Brush. You push the little button and it vibrates, getting your scalp a really good scalp massage, helping with hair growth and just also picking up anything that might be laying on the scalp. If you want to get one for yourself, I do have a 50% off promo code in the description box when you use Bianca50. Now I'm grabbing the Pacifica Pineapple Curls Curl Defining Conditioner. It's only right to welcome my curls back with something pineapple related, right? And I'm using a goodie brush to brush that through my hair. And I'm grabbing the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture. Yes, we are double conditioning today. It is necessary. So I'm globbing that on and this slip is also amazing. And I'm gonna let this sit on my hair for a total of 20 minutes under a shower cap. All right, so I end up putting on my heat cap and letting it sit for over 20 minutes. Oh, it felt so good to deep condition again. Conditioner, ooh, feels super, super soft. So now I'm gonna go rinse this out and I'll be right back. The curls are officially back in action. So I'm gonna try something new today. I'm gonna try the Diva Curl Leave-In Decadence Leave-In Conditioner. I don't think I've tried this yet, or at least not on its own. Ooh, it smells good. It smells sweet like candy. So here is all the hair that I lost. 
just kidding it's not my hair <laughs> this is all the hair that was used for the braids that all got taken out yeah that's a lot of weave but here is the hair that I actually lost this is all of my hair now although it may look like a lot I actually was expecting more for not touching my hair for an entire month but this seems about normal when you think about how much hair you lose every time you wash your hair and detangle add that up for over four weeks probably looks something like this so if you take out your braids and you see a lot of shedding don't freak out it's totally normal so overall i absolutely loved having braids if you have braids now or are thinking about it make sure you watch my other braided videos i'll put the playlist right here and at the end of this video if you enjoyed this video i hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe i post two new videos every week once on friday and once on sunday so i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bianca renee today